If you were already using a web tool like Claude or ChatGPT, I think one of the ones I would look at is Typing Mind because it's same web type UI, but it's super configurable. You can create these things called agents. It's a bit of an overloaded term. And in here, it means like a personality of an agent. An agent is just something that can go away and do something very autonomously, maybe even call out to sub agents. How would you recommend to people to try and use Use an AI agent first. Well, here's a very simple example that I've used. This one here called Write Like Popey. Now, all I've done is in Typing Mind, I've updated a knowledge base, which is over here on the left hand side. And in the knowledge base, you can upload documents that uh, your agents in Typing Mind will have access to. And so down here, I've got one called Popey Blogs. And I've had a blog since about 1997 or something. And I grabbed all the source for all of the articles that I've ever written and put them in here so that I can have Typing Mind help me write an article that sounds like I wrote it. Now, I realize that sounds like I'm just, you know, not ever going to write any, any blogs again because I'm just going to leave it up to Typing Mind to do it. But I did it as a test. I haven't actually used it an awful lot. I've used it a couple of times. But it's quite remarkable that once it knows your style of writing and your tone of voice and the way that you write, uh, it's very um, uh, able to create new content that looks like you wrote it. It's it's quite surprising. I can, I can give you a little demo. If I uh, go back to the chat and I say, write like Popey, this has a prompt in it that says, write a blog post you know the way alan would write and down here you can give it access to those mcp servers that we'll talk about a little bit more a bit later but you can also give it access to um the knowledge base and if i say you know um right uh, oh crikey i can't type write a blog about new developments mcp servers in the command line. Like so you know, the other thing you'll notice while I'm while it's chugging away, you'll see down here it says Claude Sonnet. Um, one of the nice thing about uh, typing mind is you're not locked to one of the providers. I could start a chat and say, actually, I want to do this with Gemini or I want to do this with ChatGPT. And you can even fork conversations partway through and change from one model to another. So this is quite an advantage over just sitting in the ChatGPT web UI or the Claude web UI because... We're going to jump into the second half of our conversation. But first, a quick shout out to AI Native DevCon. Two days of hands-on sessions, deep dives, and honest conversations about what it means to build AI native software, November 18th and 19th in New York, or join virtually from anywhere. Tickets and details at ainativedev.io slash devcon. See you there. I, I'm, you know, Claude, don't give you access to ChatGPT and vice versa. And so there's some interesting options in here. Now, you'll notice here it's gone and found uh, a blog post that I wrote some time ago called Command Line Only Laptop, which is a ThinkPad that I had a while ago. Um, and then it like reads a few more things, some other articles that I've written. Um, and down here, I mean, this is exactly the style of content I would write. I'd put a TLDR at the top and then I'd write far too many words. And so it, it's got that style exactly right. Um, and, you know, subheadings like what on earth is MCP, that kind of stuff. That's the style of writing that I have. So the thing I like about Typing Mind is it's doing a lot of things all within one user interface. It's able to connect to different uh, tools. It's able to uh, have knowledge uploaded to it, uh, not just blog posts like documentation or existing code. Um, and I can access this from anywhere. Uh, because I, I've signed up and I can access this on my mobile phone and have a conversation and actually start a conversation and some software being developed and then walk away and continue somewhere else. One of the other things that it has, which is really cool, is one of the uh, MCPs, one of the tools that it has access to is called File System. And this is handy because I'm on a web page, but I can give this tool access to specific directories on my machine and say, write the code 
directly on my machine. And that gets away from what we used to do, which is like have a conversation with an LLM and copy and paste the code out of the conversation. With this, it just goes directly to that folder and will start creating files. And when you go to that folder, you'll see the, the software we created. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I could use the GitHub MCP to have it actually create a repository on GitHub and upload the whole thing and upload the README and even make the README sound like me and in the style of my other README. So it's, I find this is a good um, tool, Typing Mind, a good agent for doing a lot of different things in one place without you having to switch between, you know, all kinds of different uh, tools and utilities. And if you prefer the web UI, this is great for that.